Hi, I'm Dr. Caroline Leaf. People say that, some people say that they don't dream, but we actually all do dream because when we are sleeping at night, our brain is actually sorting out our thought patterns. And because thoughts are alive and dynamic and there's emotions and chemicals and things are moving around and in our brain and activities happening, we have these, we dream. We might not always remember our dreams, but we do dream. And dreaming is a way of us understanding what's going on in our thought life. Everyone is unique, so everyone's dreams are unique. So there's never one way of interpreting a dream. And dreams basically are sorting out our thought life. As we go into sleep, we start with non-REM sleep, which is rapid, REM stands for rapid eye movement. And then we move into rapid eye movement sleep, which is REM sleep. And that's where we start dreaming. And dreamings work kind of backwards because when we're sleeping, our frontal lobe switches off and other parts of our brain switch on. So it kind of goes from the abstract to the concrete. So it's, it's back to front during the day. But our dreams are telling us things because anything that stands out, anything that's unsorted, anything that's like a peak in your day or peak in your thought life, that tends to flow into our dreams and bubble over into our dreams. So the next day when we wake up, it's a good idea to write down your dreams and journal your dreams because your dreams, especially a recurrent dream or something that really stands out in your mind, is generally telling us something about our thought life that we need to sort out. So it's really worth using your switch on your brain pro the switch on your brain process to help you to sort out dreams that are toxic.